What's up guys, this is Young here again from Epic Tech Tips. Uh, this video is actually a tutorial on how to root your phone when you have the 4.1.26 firmware on your phone. Um, there's a couple of files that you have to download and uh, the link to where you can download all these files and the directions on how to do it is uh, I will put the link down below. First of all, um, in order to root your phone using this method, no matter what, you have to, have to, have to, uh, I can't say this enough, you have to be on 4.1.26 for in order for this root method to work. There's, there's other root methods that will work, but this has um, everything built into this one process, so it's actually the easiest way that I found out how to do it. And you can enable sideloading apps all on this uh, software itself. So what you want to do first things first is download, uh, step number four, it says download the script. Uh, there's, if you click that, it's going to take you to a download link. You want to download that file. And uh, once that's downloaded, go into your computer, go to the C drive, and then ex extract gra gra glad root 7z on the C drive directly. Don't do it on any other folder because it says it's going to have problems. They said it has to be on C drive. And then after you extract the files, this is what it looks like. So after this, there's a bunch of files on here. If you look at uh, step number six, it says make sure your device is running 1.2.6 and not running any mods. So after you did the flesh, uh, fresh uh, SPF flash, downgrading it, what you want to do is uh, make check your phone to see if it's on USB debugging mode and make sure your USB connection is set to none. Oh, you guys can't see it. Huh? Make sure your USB connection is set to none. Go to menu, settings, applications, development, USB debugging, make sure it's checked on. Click OK and if you check it one more time USB connection set to none. Debugging mode is on. That's it. That's all you have to do for now. Okay. After you've got you guys uh, set your phone on USB de debugging mode, uh, open up the C drive glad root folder and open up this file right here, gladroot.bat. It's gonna have a command prompt that's open. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me fo try to focus it in on it better. There you go. And it says, uh, press any key to continue. So just press enter on your keyboard. And uh, this is basically like a disclaimer saying that they're not going to be responsible if you break your phone or break it or damage it or whatever. Press enter to continue. And it's going to say, it's going to go through all this stuff, waiting for root access to kick in and ready to root. Uh, press enter one more time. And cleaning up super one click mess, blah, blah, blah. blah and then it's gonna say root complete so after that you press any key one more time and then it's gonna ask you do you want to install side loading basically what this is is uh, you can install third-party apps onto your phone that's not on the market like direct custom APKs on your phone you just click yes and press enter and then it's gonna do this side loading enabled press any key one more time it's going to say, do you want to install custom tethering APN? If you want to tether your phone via mobile hotspot on the phone itself, uh, it changes all your um, phone connection settings and it unlocks everything. So just click yes and then it's going to enable tethering for you. And then after that's over, click one more time, any key to continue. And it's going to ask you, are you, going to, are you updating on AT&T Atrix uh, 1.26 to 1.57 or 1.83? If you are, click yes. And then after this, this is done. So press any key to continue. Uh, that's pretty much uh, the first step of rooting your phone. What you want to do next is, I'll show you guys. Look at your phone itself. Uh, you have to connect to a Wi-Fi network in order for this to work, by the way. Let me see. Okay. So, um, go hit the menu button on your phone. 
go to settings and click about phone after that click system updates it's gonna search for available updates on your phone this is a two-step process so it's gonna first download 4.1.53 I don't know why it doesn't just download 4.1 point eight seven or the newest one eight three um, they download 4.1.57 first and then after that you have to do 4.1.83 which is a uh, it's a long process because in order to update it one time it takes maybe like 10 minutes and then there we go it's gonna say new firmware has been found 4.1.57 if you can read there and then you just click download after after it downloads, you have to install. After it downloads, um, I don't want to bore you guys, so you know I'll fast forward this part, and then I'll come back to once it's done downloading. Okay, guys, it just uh, finished downloading the update. So what I'm gonna do now is just click install now. This is for the first part. It's 4.1.57, and then it's gonna restart your phone. And then once it restarts, it's gonna show like the little Android logo and like the status bar on how long it's going to take. It usually takes about between 5 to 10 minutes on um, 